See you guys next time. All right, I am ready whenever you are, so just go ahead and get ready and count me down. All right. I'll tell you when. Sounds good. Sounds good. Big fat anime timer. to warm up. Alright. Yo, thanks for good luck, guys. All right, I'm back. Okay, so so yeah, when I click X on this, I will say go. I guess then you can start the timer. Uh, should be um, okay good to go. Yeah. Uh, when I... This timer is nice. <laughs> the layout overlay. <laughs> and uh, Claude, you want you might want to go to my my channel to actually so you get more accurate. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Time on the mic. Does that make sense? So, all right, let's go. We'll be doing Jack and Dexter. Any percent, no LTS. Yes. Which is no, no lava tube skip. skip. Okay, so let's get started. When I on three or on go, let's uh, then we'll start. All right, one, two. Three, go. Good luck, dude. Thank you. God. All right. So what we're doing right now is getting a power cell. Or we have to get out of the tutorial. Yeah, this is a tutorial level from Jack and Dexter. Basically, you just have 
to um, collect the four power cells to go open the portal. And the portal brings you to the, I would say, real overworld from the game. Yeah. Oh shit. So it's like intense movement until uh, the fourth power cell. Yeah, this game is mainly movement. Um, there's tricks, but it's mostly yeah. good movement and From the series, it's the most uh, movement based. So yeah, it's like the biggest reset, uh, it's reset heavy, basically. Oh, fuck. The guy's a rock. Yes, I was really slow, but... As long as you don't fall down the waterfall, it's fine. <laughs> That's like, yeah. So yeah, he got a force cell now. Yeah, what's up, Blue? I'm just helping commentating. Because, especially in Snowy, I'm gonna... He's not gonna be able to talk much. So yeah, and all. he knows more about the tricks. I'm sure there'll be a lot of questions about... Once that so yeah, this is guys a rock, and now a 52 second cutscene, I think. Yep. And then there comes a real, a real fun. Yeah. So now I can cutscene. And yes, Blue, I am using splits, because in case I PB, I don't want to be on this timer. I want to actually have golds and stuff if I do. Also, ladies and gentlemen, this is the last run. This is your last chance to donate. Please get those donations in if they're last minute. All right. Yeah, that was a cutscene. And now he's uh, going to the fisherman. The fish mini game, which is uh, the RNG place, like the, the I think that's the single um, RNG thing in the game. Yep. Like, yeah, it's just a mini game. I, I will explain later when he's uh, like a fisherman. But that's a single place where RNG plays a is a role. I like yeah. Oh shit! All right. We are I'm good. stressed too. It's fine. Don't worry. Oh shit! For oh whoops. That was early. <laughs> all right. Yeah, fisherman. Let's pray for good RNG. Yeah, well, the fisherman will explain the mini game anyway, so I don't think I need to explain it actually. Yeah, I just need to um, catch 200 pounds of fish. Of fishies and the green ones give uh, one pound, and the yellow ones five pound, and um, the eels, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and the eels like you instantly lose the game and mini game and have to reset. Um, yeah, and that's like RNG how many yellows there are, there will come, and that's the problem about the minigame. You can save 20 seconds, you can lose 20 seconds. Oh, even more. So, yeah. And that's, uh... Decent fish until now. Oh, 
Oh yes. Okay, that's... Well, okay. That's... Um, over average. Not bad, dude. Did you finish during your phase? I'm behind, that's fine. Let's see. Oh no, 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 no. I'm watching the... I'm watching Strawberry Speedruns, so it's better for the comments too. Like, it's getting... It's a bit confusing if I'm telling... Uh, I'm explaining something like six seconds ahead or before. Well, no, the audio, the audio is coming from your side, so to be on time with the game, you should be watching the raw stream. Yeah. Yeah, all the audio is yours. Oh no. Also, some people are saying the game volume is a little loud compared to the mic. So this is basically like movement, collecting the scarf flies and some orbs and getting to the top of, top of the tower to uh, enter the temple. Which, uh, yeah, the temple is basically opening the blue eco vent and fighting the plant boss. Alright, there's some yelling in the background, no biggie. Okay. My mic was muted this whole time in my OBS, if you guys didn't hear me until now. So thanks for your lux and all that that I missed. Um, how's the game sound now? Okay, good start. So yeah, <clears throat> now he entered the temple. And he died. That's fine. That's at the, at the beginning, so it's fine. There's like six That's seconds, it's fine. Not a big deal. So now he's opening the blue eco vent, which is uh, like he's on the way. And blue, he is the, blue eco is the most important eco from the game. Really you like use important. jump pads, you open doors, and. You collect eco, uh, you collect eco, you collect orbs way faster. And you open these orbs when sent shit. It's uh, really important. So, yeah, plan right, So, unfortunately, yeah. unfortunately, we missed a uh, bite skip. Um, but should I commentate on your, on the, on the raw stream or? The raw stream is on my channel, because that will be more okay. uh, with, in sync with the gameplay. So that's basically plant boss. You have to hit him three times uh, on the mouth, I would say. Yeah, it's a mouth. But yeah. Yep. And at the beginning he did like bite skip. Did you get it? I Maybe missed second. the bite skip. Yeah, you can skip the first um, bite, which saves around four seconds. Sometimes you just randomly don't get it. I don't know why. Like sometimes you just can't get it, and sometimes you get a quick bite, which saves five seconds. But yeah, I never get. Nah, I almost never get quick bite because that's really really ra uh, rare. But bite skip is not that hard. So yeah, let's go in jungle. The last cell, and how now it's gonna load back. 
Save and load do, do to you save uh... and quit? Sorry? Save oh never mind. Yeah, right. save and load to send over oh, back shit. and then he's gonna go to Misty Island. And Misty Island is um yeah. It's everyone's favorite That's, kappa. In my opinion, the hardest place in the game. But yeah. This is probably where most uh, good runners reset. Yeah, exactly. Uh, there's also a fast cycle that you can get, uh, which I will probably not be going for, because I'm not. I don't want to risk doing stupid stuff. Yeah. So like. I'll go for the second fastest cycle. Yeah. So there are different cycles from the zeppelins, and to get the fast cycle, uh, which saves around 30 seconds, I think. You need to be really fast. Oh wow! So actually, I missed the muse. That's. Uh, that's uh, yeah, yeah. To begin, you have to catch a muse. Usually, you just get it right Yellow away. But <laughs> yeah, normally you just do two punches in one roll, and you like instantly get it. It's like the nightmare of some casual players to catch a muse, but it's not a big deal. Unfortunately, if you think about it. didn't even recover it so well we have lost a lot of time already <laughs> oh, this is really bad but it's not a, not a big deal if we get it today <laughs> all right so we lost like a minute but it's not a big deal guys it's just for more excitement to the run Nothing better than watching a cat chase. Yeah. It can be annoying, but normally you just get it in something. But it's fine. So basically the fast cycle is ripped now. Like if you fail the muse, it's the second fastest. Ripped, fast cycle. Like the fastest cycle you can get it's is, is ripped in something. After you miss the muse, but yeah. I would recommend just try to get a decent cycle, like at least two uh, zeppelins yeah. on the bridge. Or you can just wait to get the third too, but that loses a lot of time. Yeah, now he got the, the next cell. Now he just. That's really fast, you just do a high jump and. Basically, the cell is so just normally... under uh, the cannon. So, normally you have to do the arena, yeah. oh. there's like an arena, you have to fight many lurkers. I have no clue why uh, this trick is not working right now, but... Okay, alright, well... Misty is screwing me over. But, normally you do a roll jump across there, I don't go for it. Usually I don't fail this, what I just did. But it loses like 5 seconds. Yeah, I need to do the roll jump in order to get the fast cycle, but it doesn't matter anyway since I am too slow. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, so um, normally you have to fight the arena and fight many lurkers to get um, stairs to get the dark eco cell, or like the cell which is on the dark eco pool. But yeah, you can just jump under a bridge and. Get the cell instantly. <clears throat> Alright, so I am very low health also. So, yeah. so I gotta play it kinda safe. This is the place where it's get interesting if you get the Zeppelins or not. And yeah, as you can see he's like there's like a single Zeppelin. And uh, Alright, yeah. so we did probably get like we got a really bad Zeppelins, but we still made it there, so that's a good start. Like they yeah, that's... When I got okay, them, that's so. okay. It's slow, but it's fine. It's not bad. If you, do, if you do it right, like the fast cycle, two of the Zeppelins will fly inside each other, so you can get them both in one hit. Mm -hmm. That's like, if you are really, really fast. Like the world record holder, um, or like one other player uh, we both know. <laughs> um, they are getting Point. like, yeah, these two zeppelins at the same time, and that's like, really good. 
basically just with um if you get these fast zeppelins you can get a sub 14 uh, missile which is really good sub 14 so yeah now he's catching the last zeppelins <coughs> and then he's gonna get a cell from them yeah all right so there's the last zeppelin Unfortunately, this can seconds can go any worse, but yeah, I think you lost about thirty seconds. I lost actually a minute and thirty Got seconds. Well, it's fine though. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so now we're actually gonna go get the last scout fly, and scout fly says something you need seven of, and you get a power cell. This is Mario Kart. Yeah, this is a zoomer. A good old zoomer. Zoomer cart. Yeah, now. Um, uh, Jack and Dexter cart. Are you doing the booster? Should I go for it? I mean, you can try. I, I, I might as well. I'm just gonna go for the boosted. Okay. So I was actually gonna do a backup strat. Only loses 10 seconds, about, or a little less. Um, but since we'll just show off the boosted, and we actually got it. So. Very good. <laughs> Good thing we went for it. <laughs> good. good that I say it. Um, say it. Say right, it. You wanna explain to me? Uh, boost it, yeah. You wanna. It's, um, you have to slowly walk off the ledge. Like, you have to tilt the controller. And then, right before you, like, start falling down, or like, when you start to fall down, you have to uppercut. And that's yeah, basically so... the trick. And you get a lot of distance. Yeah, you have to hold the analog stick slightly forward, and you have to hit punch just as you fall yeah. off. You have to be off the ground and do an upper. And back. then circle. Yeah, that's what I forgot to say. It's it's, uh, it's harder than it looks. Um, if you get used to most it, most Zelda speedrunners. You have to get used. To it. Most Zelda speedrunners know about holding the control stick barely forward, because most Zelda tricks has Zelda games has that. Yeah input in it for some reason. So that was Misty Island. The, um, in my opinion, the hardest place to get good at it and to actually yeah, get a run because if you lose so much time because of the Zeppelins in Misty Island, yeah, it's hard. <laughs> so now the pelican is uh, swallowing cell. Oh wow! On how now he's doing the tower climb. Normally you have to use the uh, um, blue eco jump pads to uh, get up to the tower with the cannon, but you can just um, yeah climb the tower. He's uh, yeah, he's just climbing the tower up. It's really easy. Not a big deal. So now he's shooting the pelican. Yeah, normally you have to like you have to punch the pelican, and he's like um, um how to say? He spits the power cell. Yeah. He spits a power cell, and then you have like you have to do a little race against him, who is getting the power cell back at first. And yeah, you yep. just shoot him, um, and then the power cell is there. Yeah, no. Yeah. So this uh, coming up here is the bird RNG that most people love, um, but we got pretty good RNG there, so. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, you can lose a lot of time here. Yeah, about 15 seconds if you get troll birds. You can get troll birds, they're like just flying around the place and not getting down where they normally stand. And, and the birds are actually what triggered that cutscene. Yeah. There's a cutscene there. Well, yeah, the cutscene, yeah. Which gives you the cell. Yeah, no, he's getting the pelican cell. Yeah, just shoot him. 
and then when you get back to the place you just pick up the person and that's all no race or like no uh, no race against a pelican or whatever yep it's pretty easy so yeah now he's going to the green eco vents this is the only time you'll see uh, green eco vents in the run uh basin i think basin oh shit yeah <laughs> that doesn't count like so that's just opening the green eco vents green eco is for hell if you pick up uh, Green Eco from this, these vents, you get like instantly 4 health, like 3 health and 50 extra, which is basically a 4 health. Yeah, now just movement, picking up the next cells, and uh, the scout flies to finish Sentinel Beach. Sentinel Beach is alright. It's just. Uh, yeah, bird RNG it can be a is something, but I don't know. There's no more RNG in the game after um, Misty. No, not Misty. After fish and uh, birds and Central. Do you guys know if I? So if you guys know if I blame something RNG, you know I'm lying because there's no more no. RNG. <laughs> there's mm -hmm. zero RNG after Sentinel Beach. Uh, yeah. So now he's... The flat flat, which you're gonna need in Foggy and Snowy. So yeah. This is... The flat flat cutscene. Flat uh, flat. just uh, talking about the flat flat likes Dexter flat and... Flat. Flat, flat things that Dexter is his mom. And Whatever. It's uh, 40 seconds cut to nothing. 40, 45 seconds. But <coughs> flat flat is uh, really useful later on. Oh yeah. You guys will see. So yeah, now he's getting the last uh, scar fly with the cell and the last cell to end Sentinel Beach with uh, 26 power cells. That's where you should be at the moment. And orbs, I don't know yeah. how many orbs I have, 208. That's really good. You, That's too much. You want to explain to them uh, what the power cells are for? For the people that might not know A power why cells? we collect yeah. these power cells? So basically, the game has 101 power cells. That's like, but you only need 101 power cells for 100%. And then you, have, you need to finish the game not as fast as possible, but like without the lava tube skip, which I'm gonna explain soon. One second. So you need 72 power cells to complete the game um, without any glitches or tricks to um, get to lava tube. So you need 72 power cells to um, yeah that Kira spawns in lava tube, so you can get a zoomer to. And to lava too. But yeah, there's a category which is called any person. And you finish the game with. Uh, wait, let me see. 21, 22, 23. Yeah, you finish the game with 23 power cells. And you do a lava tube skip, which is basically. Um, cool. How to explain? You do some weird glitches and tricks. And you like, you trick the game, and you like, despawn Volcanic Creator. So the game thinks, wait, this guy is, it's not possible that he, um, he isn't Volcanic Creator right now. So let's just put a checkpoint on Lava Tube. Yeah, and then you have to kill yourself and spawn, and you respawn. <laughs> it's, it's hard to explain it now. Any yeah, words. Maybe we'll we'll go into we'll tell uh, tell you where it's at when we actually get to lava two. Um, and I don't have the good vocabulary for to explain like correctly. It's it's hard. Yeah. In words, uh, lava tube. So but yeah. Basically, now we're moving on to the next area. We finished um, hub one. Is that what we call yeah, it? Yeah. Now he's going to hub two. 
head stack for a second. Let's uh, take the space and the most important place. After a misty item, sure. And I always I lose so many runs to uh, these uh, sections right here where you zoom across to get to the next area. I don't know why. But we. Yeah, this is not recording. It's a little bit more recording action. No, but yeah. Oh, he finished. Um, uh, fire Canyon? <laughs> There's a yeah. Fire Canyon skip. Um, but yeah, it's not really. It's, it's pass, nice, yeah. Uh, more it's pass. not really. It's not RTA. Right, coming up is... No, yeah. it's. Coming up is cutscene skip. Yeah, Blue Sage cutscene yeah. skip. Normally it's, uh, I think it's 50 seconds. Yep. No, no, 40 seconds. If you miss this one, it's like fine on your first runs, but if you miss the Red Sage on the Witch of an Explainator, if you miss this one, it's uh, way worse. So, uh, what I did in order to actually skip the cutscene was I did a pass buffer. Which gives you a, um, so it's a two seconds, two second window. Yes. Where you can. I think one point five, yeah, or two seconds. Yeah. Yeah, one, yeah, one and a half seconds, something like that, to actually do stuff, be it out getting into the cutscene. Um. <laughs> so what you do, you hit the switch, and you pass. Uh, the game passes, and you save and load. And then when you spawn in, you do a pass buffer, and you have to get out of the window from where you can actually get caught in the cutscene within the time. If you're too slow, you will get um, put in the cutscene. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, it. now it's uh, oh, okay. Yeah, well, now it's a... Uh, wait, what? Basin. <laughs> yeah, now Basin. Um, it has only one hard place, and that's to do um, the Dark Eco Pants, which you're gonna see soon, in two minutes. One minute. Yeah, one and a half minutes. Yeah, that's a little shortcut. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's... I was like, why is he... Uh, <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, you, uh, you should uh, refresh your stream once in a while so you can be more caught up. Yeah, I'm watching both streams like Strawberry and yours, if you like. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, shit! Okay, I don't know what happened. Um, he didn't have speed, I guess. Um, usually you'd be able to just drive there and you'd fly over to the next one, but for some reason you didn't want to do that. So we were losing some time here, but... What happened? I can't see the... Oh, I you know those pillars you drive onto. Oh, okay. I, it just crashed in the wall. I didn't slow it down. I don't know, that hasn't happened in a long time. But, it's what it is. Let me see. Alright, time for dark eco plants. Um, if you're yeah. really fast, you can one cycle. One cycle yeah. these. I've never ever gotten it before. But maybe this is. I got it once in my life. Been. I don't know how long. So yeah, j just pick up the green eco vent. And yeah, you can get one cycle. You just so you just need to pick one time, uh, a single time, the green eco vent to actually destroy all these uh, dark eco vents. Yeah, and if you are too slow or just too bad, no I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not getting either. 
I'm not getting the trick either, so I can blame myself on this. No, um, yeah, so just pick up the Queen Eco event two times instead of one time, and well, you lose about I think 25 seconds. So there's a lot of time safe. Um, yep. For everybody who doesn't do uh, one second, or who, yeah, who never got the one second in his run. Yeah, now getting some orbs, and you missed. Oh no, you got it block. Okay. That was weird. Okay, now the strawberry stream is ahead. That's uh, funny. Alright, so you guys are probably wondering why the camera angle is at such a weird angle as I'm climbing over um, all the Fs. I'll leave it to uh, yeah. explain. Oh shit, alright, well, I also got really. Oh, no, it's okay. Um, basically, the camera is a. Uh... The camera is a, how to say, it's solid, it's basically jack, in a way, because um, if you have your camera too far to the right, so like the camera is going into the hut of the blue sage, you're gonna trigger the cutscene, because the cutscene is active right now, the cutscene is not a blade, the cutscene is triggered, so you can yeah, still... So it's not really yeah. skipped. It's not, you can't, you, you skip it, but you don't skip it entirely. There's still the cutscene, so if you would walk up now and go into the hut, you would trigger the cutscene. Right. Also... Yeah, so you just, you can still watch the cutscene um, when you just walk uh, in the area, uh, in the area of the Blue Sage uh, hut. Also, you and um, in this LPC, you don't want to take more than one damage, or just one trick coming out. Oh yeah, so yeah, so. that was yeah. That's basically you said. Um, so yeah, the camera is not allowed to be like in the hut because you're gonna trigger the cutscene, which is still active right now. So now that's LPC. That's the next level. Um, yeah, it's one of the hardest too with uh, Misty Island, for sure, because it has. If most difficult and it has, yeah, most it has basically all of the glitches. Yeah, all of the important glitches you learn in the game is uh, LPC. Yeah, and you still got the okay. Let's basically, go. do a bunch of, but basically do a bunch of parkour in here. Yeah, parkour out of bounds and it's weird. Alright. So now. Okay. Okay. So now he's, uh, yeah, going to do puzzle skip. And this is where you need two help in order yeah. to Yeah, so two. normally you, like, walk around uh, okay. these platforms and activate every platform. So they're like, um, if, the, if a platform is activated, it's blue. But you just, yeah, you just go out of bounds. And skip the whole uh, mini game. Well, that's not a mini game, but it's, yeah, I don't know how much it saves it. actually. I think it's 15 seconds, 10 seconds, even less. I don't know. All right, so here. Yeah, that's all. Uh, okay, um, I guess that happened. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, hopefully this. Okay. So now it comes to you. So. That's the... Yeah, this is probably a beginner's hardest oh, trick yes. in this oh, you fell down. Oh, nightmare. Damn, dude. Yeah, just reload. Just... Yeah, yeah. You don't need to, um... Yeah. You don't need to go too deep into uh, the tunnel to... to get the checkpoint. Alright, we got the trick, so... Yeah, you just go... Yeah. It's, um... That's the hardest trick, like for everybody it was the hardest trick to learn because um, you have to angle the camera correctly, you have to stand correctly on the lurker's head 
to go out of bounds. And you kind of have to do a, an invisible boost. An invisible like. boost. And you have to grab the ledge when you are out of bounds. So there are like four things you have to be good at it to get this trick. Grabbing that ledge out of bounds is kind of harder than it looks. Yes. It took me a long time before I actually yeah, same. <laughs> grabbed the ledge. Same. Yeah, if you have one health um, off the cell, you can just kill yourself. It's faster than loading. But if you did have more there, you would just load the game. And you are really good on orbs. You are, have, uh, you are 20 ahead. That's really good. Normally you should get 205 now. Yeah, 205, 210. That's hmm. basically all you should be, but that's fine. Be ahead instead of behind, because it's gonna mess up way too much if you are behind. Alright, so... This is a, a very fun trick. Yeah, this is uh, um, what is it called? It has a name too, but I can't remember really the name. Uh, oh wow, my uh, game dropped some inputs there. So. Okay. I guess okay. Well, this trick is not as hard as I make it look. But for some reason, the game decided to. It's just to a drop inputs. Yeah, it's just a precise double jump you have to do, and then get a spin. And then you go out of bounds and skip like a huge cutscene, which is on the and yeah, you also on the ground of uh, LPC. on the floor. Um, and you also do a pause buffer before you yeah. grab that orb and then load the game, which this is like the skip. The pause buffer skips like the cutscene, which is uh, pretty long and annoying. Because if you don't get a pass buffer, well, you can kick yourself, so that's fine. Yeah, that's RPC. Uh, people. <laughs> that's uh, Glyph City. That's how I call it, because Glyph it's uh, it's crazy. How much out of bounds you can go there. Or oh, how many times you can go out of bounds there. Yeah, now he's getting the last cell on the top. Of RPC and he should be at 42 power cells. Yep, 42 power cells. And now, Foggy Swamp. Alright. Which That's is exactly. uh, annoying as fuck. Yeah, I lose a lot of runs yeah. in this one. Uh, I know it's really easy to die here, and when you die, oh yes. you might, if you have a bad checkpoint, you will spawn like minutes away. The checkpoints are trash. Or he's like the enemies are trash because there's like a, a huge frog which uh, has a weird tongue and like, yeah. He shows no mercy. And these little rats which way. are everywhere, everywhere. And uh, but here you use um, Yellow Eco the first time. Yeah, it's the first time, right? Yeah, it's a yeah, person. Uh, first time you actually was see Yellow Eco, too. I yeah, think. I was confused for a moment. Yeah. Normally you activate. Um... That frog almost got me. Normally you activate uh, the yellow eco vent in Snowy. Alright. Fifth City is my country, yeah, dude. Fifth City. Alright, so we're having uh, some uh, issues right now. I just fixed the uh... Yeah, it's fixed, it's fine. Yeah. Thingy. Uh, yeah. Oh, you have one... What did you get it? I okay. got it. Yeah, Damn, just, that um, was weird. Alright. You need to destroy four stones. Because the stones are um, attached on the... On the huge zeppelin. Which is, uh... The zeppelin from the lurker zeppelin? <laughs> I don't know. The story. I can't even remember the story. I think it's from the lurkers, right? The huge zeppelin. Uh, yeah, yeah, I actually I don't think. remember the story either. Yeah, you destroy the zeppelin. Like, you don't destroy it, but you get like four cells from every stone, and there are like four stones. Yeah. And yeah, the rest is basically um, movement and collecting things, so there's no more to explain really. 
This uh, right here is actually uh, one of my favorite movement sections in the game. Holy shit. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah, okay, I see. I don't know. I, know, I like to feel this place. I like the camera angle just moving around mm. like that. I executed it really bad, but. But yeah, Boggy is. Uh, you die fast and you check when they're trash. That's the problem. Yeah, no, it's just movement and ambush and. A flat flat section, which is coming up soon. Yeah, true. There's a flat flat, the first flat flat uh, yep. section where uh, uh, Deco is gonna abuse flat flat for Boggy Spawn. Or like, <laughs> for a huge area, not for the whole Boggy Spawn. In Snowy, he use uh, Boggy, uh, flat flat for the whole time. But yeah. not in Boggy. But uh, normally, that rock that was uh, covering that blue eco. Uh, vent there, or the um, pad. You would normally have to actually uh, yeah, it sure did. break it open with yellow yeah. eco, but, um, but you can. if you find the right spot, you can just jump yeah. right off of it. So yeah, the stone is does not complete uh, completely uh, cover the jump pad. So if you find the right angle, you can just press X from a random spot or like. In the corner of the jump pad, you can just jump from it. It saves a lot of time. Don't need to yeah. pick up extra yellow eco to op um, open this break the stone. So that's useful. Uh, yeah, this is ambush, just a little area, arena fight, where you just need to uh, kill the locus as fast as possible. Pos possible. So after this jump hit, you can normally do a one frame, <laughs> which is uh, yeah, it's a one frame trick. You can skip uh, the second jump hit you have to do right now. Yep, and it saves about ten seconds, I believe. Uh, yeah, eight to ten seconds if you do it correctly or fast. But if you um. Do the one frame, you're gonna be 10 orbs behind. So I always oh, yeah, need to yeah. take care of this too. Okay, well, I guess this is Bonk City now. Bonk, yeah. <laughs> kill a frog, kill, yeah, I would kill a frog always, but uh, it's gonna fuck you up, baby. Yeah, what we're doing here is called a quad jump. Yep. Uh, what it is is you do a double jump. Or high jump. Uh, you shoot. Yeah, or high jump. Um, you uh, shoot, um, and then you shoot a yellow eco, and then spin, which gives you boosts you up in the air four times. Uh, really useful for a lot of places. Spider cave, for example. Yep. Yep. Spider cave. <clears throat> what well, and what we did right here was um, we uh, had enough health in order to actually skip a kind of big section by just rolling into the water, taking some damage, and uh, just walking across instead of going around the whole way. Yeah. I don't know how much that actually saves. Like mm. 15? 10. What 15? Yeah, if you're slow. But if you're fast. It saves about 8 seconds. You can roll jump across too, like on the platforms. It's not that long. For Hondo you need to go anyway on this place, so... But like for Hondo you need to... Yeah, you need to get the orbs. There are some or uh, 10 orbs I think, uh, in the corner. Um, Alright, so that so was yeah. an uh, awful... Awful buggy, no biggie. Yeah, that's Boggy Swamp. Okay, well, uh, 
Where are you at on my stream? Just wondering. Um, you just. Are you? Uh, you get his last anyway. cell now. Like um, okay. on boggy, okay. uh, after boggy. Yeah, you know you got the cell. So now we're doing boulders. This here. Is um, I'm... Strawberry speedruns is uh, one power cell cuts in the head. Yeah, that's boulders, kid. Normally you need to talk to Kira. That she. Um, uh, she's like. You talk to her and she's activating a laser. Which is. Uh, how to say? Can you explain it? Yeah, it moves. It, it, it moves the boulder, that laser. That the yeah, this word was side missing. Side. Moving. God damn it. Yeah, and the laser's just moving uh, the huge rock. So you can normally pass under it, but with the boulder skip, you just do an uppercut, angle correctly, and take about. Uh, um, yeah. 40s? I don't know how long the Kira cutscene is. Never uh, watched a cutscene. Yeah, 40... 45, 45 seconds. Okay. And also, she is not there because we skipped the uh, previous cutscene also. Yeah. Uh, so, if you did get the first cutscene skip, um, you will also have to um, do the bowler skip. There's no way out of it. Unless you go watch the cutscene. And uh, this is a very interesting trick. <laughs> yeah, this is so. Um, I do not know much about it, so I'll let Claw answer it. Uh, yeah. So this is the second Claw skip, which is the Claw Idle Deload. So basically, Deco just got the checkpoint from Mountain Pass. He just watched a Claw cutscene where he's uh, roaring. And yeah, now we go into Boggy. And now basically, you do an idle deload, which despawns um, hub 2, or like, which despawns uh, the area. And yeah, when you like do the pause buffer, you have to do a pause buffer between 27.5 and 29.5 seconds. Yep, which yep. kill. 28 yeah, and a half between. Yeah, it's hard to explain in 15 seconds because it's. There's a lot of things which happen there. So yeah, the game puts you. Uh, the game the game puts a checkpoint on behind claw. Uh, so if you die yeah, in bulky, like uh, Deco just did, if you die in bulky, you are like behind claw, and the game thinks like, okay, this guy just died behind claw, so let's just put him uh, before mountain pass starts. So, so yeah. So if you guys are wondering where uh, Cloggy got his name, oh yeah. shit! That's my favorite. All boss. right, I think I might have to. I might actually have to read this whole. Uh, did you, did pass. You no, but um, I gotta go fast. Yeah, Claw Claw is uh, the name of the boss you skip here. Or did you just skip? Yeah, and yeah, that's my favorite boss. So that's why uh, I have uh, I have sort of the same name. Um, so very luckily we made it. Are you okay? That's good. If, that's really good. Yeah, if those purple, uh, if those purple guys actually beat you to the guy that was sitting there with the dynam dynamite shit in his hand, uh, you would actually. Die. Yeah, he's gonna. Trigger the TNT shit in Mountain Pass, which is gonna blow up the whole Mountain Pass. Uh, and you have to basically redo, redo um, Mountain Pass completely. So now he's getting the backward cell on food, on feet, because yeah. it's faster. Normally you have normally, to. Yeah, explain. Yeah. You can explain. You, you go for it. Uh, yeah, you yeah normally you have to uh, activate. Which I just um, talked about a few minutes ago. You have to activate in Snowy the yellow eco vent, and then it opens the yellow eco vent non first. So you could shoot a huge rock, which like um, which opens you uh, 
the opportunity to uh, to get a cell here, but you just do a weird spin in the air, which normally you sometimes yeah no sometimes you get like or normally you should get a boost yeah, I was... in order to get it. Yeah, I did get it now. Okay. Uh, normally it doesn't take me this long. Yeah, normally you just yeah you do this boost up, it's... and then you just grab the cell, and then you kill yourself, and that's one of the best. Uh, yeah. It's really hard to explain tricks correctly in, uh, in seconds, so I'm just gonna try my best for the following tricks. <laughs> because there's a lot of things to say when you explain something, but yeah. So now he's um, going to Spider Cave, which is not a cool place at all, especially in Hando, because uh, it's confusing as fuck. Yeah. It's very confusing. So now he's just it's just movement to uh, the Ruvo room. Which is uh, the most important place of the spider cave. I'm just gonna let you focus. So you saw me do a roll jump onto that spider web thing and then do an uppercut. Uh, it only saves like one second if you get it first try. Alright, so we did not uh, get the quad jump um, on that one platform. Should have saved some time, but uh, luckily the platform was going up anyway. So normally you can do a boosted here, so you climb up uh, the other way, and save some yeah, seconds. Yeah, oh yeah, explain them. But the deco yeah, is I just doing the safe threat. Um, yeah, you can use it off time to the boost that you have normally do, which is uh, on the other side of the room. <clears throat> but yeah, that's just the safe threat, which loses about... 8 to 10 seconds if you are slow or fast, depends. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, so. And the boosted is the hardest boosted in the game, I yes. believe. So that's also one of the reasons I do not do it. Because normally you'd go to this power cell first, and then you do boost it over to the other one. But. Yes. Might as well go for it. Oh, we got it. <laughs> what is your estimate? 112? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 112. Alright. Um, unfortunately, I think it's going to be a 113. Uh, probably not. Just depends. You don't do Citadel. Don't forget. Oh, well, lava chip is done. Alright, here comes. Here comes uh, one of the coolest quad jumps. Yeah, this is uh, the most important quad jump in the game. So, uh, Spider Cave has uh, important things like to boost it or uh, the quad jump here. Yeah, I would always kill the spider on the right side. Can't fuck you up. He got the quad jump first try, which is really good. Nice dude. And now he's uh, leaving spider cave. And there's like the hidden cell. Like he's going, he's rolling outside with yellow eagle. And he's shooting um, in the air. And it's gonna break up a box which is uh, in Volcanic Creator. And the cell, yeah, the cell is here. Yeah. And that's by the cave. Oh boy. Now it's uh, time for and a red stage. Cutscene. That's a uh, 3 minute, 2 minute 40 cutscene, I think. 
<clears throat> it's really long. Yeah. Uh, if you're on a really good PB pace, I I'm gonna tell you how easy it is to show this trick. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of playing it safe, not going super close to the <laughs> switch. Let me get nice. it. So, all right. Yeah, we are a little behind. I think eight seconds behind. And you're doing a really. We kind no. of over orbed, I think. We're like 10 seconds here. Yeah. So you skipped here uh, 2 minutes 30 cutscene, I think. So for every average or like top player, if you miss this trick, your, your run is over. When you start to get a 109, yeah, so 108, like Deco, if you mess up this trick, it's over. That's way it's too long. <laughs> It's just trashed. Yeah, it's not Two minute thirty. Yeah, it's not good. Also, uh, what you do there, um, you have to hit the switch and go kill yourself in the lava in one and a half second. Yeah, that's like a boss buffer uh, thing. You, you have one point five seconds to kill yourself, which we uh, talked about in part two. Yeah, this is part three, by the way. Uh, both kind of creator, snowy, spider cave. So now he's getting to the gondola? Yeah. yeah. And now... Snowy, snowy. is my... Uh, this, the hardest place for me, probably for most runners. Uh, it's really tricky, kind of. Mm -hmm. Or one of the hardest, besides Misty. Um, it has many things. There's flood, flood, flood the whole time. So if you die with flood, flood, you have to get flood, flood, flood. Um, yep. There's the gondola skip. There is like these this weird eyes on the on the floor, uh, especially on the end of Snowy. There's a lot of eyes, so you can slide off the, uh, the platform uh, really quick. But yeah, we we'll just go over a step by step. Now he's just activating some switches. Um, this is Red Eagle. It's like uh, in Wanna explain what ready goes? Yeah, it enforces uh, your attacks, your punch, and spin. And only with red eco you can kill these guys with the shield. And if you kill three of the yeah, kill three of the guys, you have to kill, and you won't get a pause from it. Yeah, no, the second guy. Or like he's on the way to kill the second guy, second Ken guy. It's not even Ken. It's uh, no. Yeah. Some weird shit. So you saw me jump off the edge there and go grab a ledge there. There's multiple ways of doing that. I kind of made my own strat yeah. for it. I um, do sit there, which is about two seconds yeah. faster. But I saw Deco strat and I did it myself and it's really good. <laughs> and my strat only is uh, like strat normal. You normally do six about max three yeah, seconds. Yeah, his strat you don't you don't grab any yeah. ledge. You just do boost like, it and land on there. if you do the boost it, you can actually get uh, the sledge from this, which is pretty hard to do. All right, time. Yeah, <laughs> not flat, 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 So what we're doing right now, which is, is um, we're take there's a barrier right here. Uh, so what we're doing is we're actually going out of bounds, going inside on the other side of the barrier. Yeah. It's a really easy trick. Um, yeah, so you're not supposed to have flip flip here. So yeah, normally you don't pick up flat flat again. Like you only pick up flat flat uh, at the beginning and uh, at the beginning of snowy, and then you keep flat flat until uh, 
until you uh, you actually leave uh, Snowy with the Gondra skip on the next banana. So try to not uh, uh, take damage as much. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll actually grab Bloodfloods just to show him Gondra skip. There's like no la um, there's no border like that you need to have for something and so it's just to be safe because if you can die fast here so, it's so what I did there was a yellow vent skip <clears throat> there is another way of doing this skip uh, I find it harder and it only loses five my way loses five seconds I think um, but the other way is kind of risky for me Always die, and then you have to go again. again yeah, he needs to. Um, I seem press the switch. Like, yeah, he needs to press the switch now, which lose about four seconds. Normally, you press the switch, and then you pick up the yellow man skip uh, person. Yeah. But yeah, you know, just need to walk to the switch now and get. Did you get the cell? Uh, the scarf yeah, 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 I did. Yeah, normally you can climb up, yeah, what Deku is doing now. I don't do it because I just don't like it. I lose some seconds, but I just walk around the power thing. Okay, you didn't get a cutscene yeah. skip. You can get a power cell cutscene skip right there. When you turn the camera to the right, which saves about 7 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, I, for some reason I struggle getting that. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's not that easy. You have to turn the camera co correctly. Yeah. So. Alright, so this is one of my least favorite sections on uh, this yeah. platform over here with all that. That's what I talked about. There's uh, a lot of ice now. So you can. It's really slippery. Does this, this work? Yeah. I think it's slippery, right? Yeah. Yep, slippery. Um, so you can easily fall down and like die and you have to get uh yeah if you would die here you have to get flat again <laughs> yeah that's right Kyo. no fear yeah. <laughs> um yeah you have to get flat foot again and this lose about oh gosh one minute i think yeah, go yeah, back to flat foot go back to this section oh god yeah. It's insane. But, uh, if you die with Flat Foot here, you have to reset anyway. Like me, for example, or like any other runner. Uh, you have to reset if you bonk once. Yeah, no. <laughs> Not that hard, but. Uh, yeah, that was the last right. time. Uh, not the last time. The second last cell? No, he's getting the last cell from. Uh, um, Stuff then. Oh, shit. And he missed Gunner Yep. Alright, that was probably the coolest trick in this place, but I, unfortunately I failed it. Yes, same, Drago. I have to wake up in six hours, but I don't care. If I didn't fail that, this would be my one of my best snowies, actually. Yeah, the snowy was really clean. But but uh, and that's... failing that, you'll lose like 40 seconds. More. You lose 10 to to the movement to get to the gunner lock, or like 50. And oh, then yeah. you lose um, 15 to go back, to go down, or like 20. And then you lose another oh. 10 to <laughs> go to the miners. That's quite bad. Fortunately, I, I guess you live in Europe. I sure can link you. I guess you live in somewhere in Europe too. <laughs> yeah, that's a miners. You have to. Uh, you need 270 uh, orbs here to get three cells uh, from the miners. So yeah, that's the last important place. Then you get a last cell in Volcanic Crater, and then you can enter 
lava cube with 72 power cells. Oh yeah. And that's again. Yeah, it's very important that you have a good uh, orb count when you enter Snowy. Yeah. 180 is where I'm always normally. 80, yeah. I'm usually at 150. Yeah, 170, 170, 180, that's where I am normally. Which is, uh. Which is normally good. Yep. So now he's getting the last cell in Volcanic. And then there's gonna be a. Yep. 40-second cutscene of Kira, which is, uh, she's talking about Lava Tube, and to get through it. And Lava Tube was really long, with the cutscene, I think, five minutes, with the cutscene, and, uh, yep. actually do, uh, uh, so, yeah. some weird shit, but we survived it, that's all that matters. <laughs> uh, you guys will see soon. <laughs> Monkers, dude. Yeah, that's, uh, okay, it was really close. Yeah, if you get stuck on the rails, just spam X. Yeah, Draco. If you mean um, if you, that you're stuck on the, in the rails, yes. That's no. Don't worry. You just need to mash X and you're gonna get out anyway. Or you'll, or fall, you'll down. fall down if you're unlucky. You. Yeah. <laughs> That's a key rocket scene. And then he's gonna do Lava Tube, yep. which is about 2 minutes 30, 2 minutes, I don't know. I don't have the exact times here, but... Yeah, it's somewhere around there. So what's good about Lava Tube? You don't need any scout yeah. flies or any orbs, because we have all the requirements just go fast to actually finish possible. the game now. Yeah. So you take the two blue eco things and, uh, and the shortcut. There's a shortcut uh, in Lava Tube, which is uh, pretty hidden. I didn't find it. Uh, in my casual play, and even on the speedrun, a few weeks ago I found it, but not before. Yeah, that, you just climb up the... Oh, I forgot to mention that when you grab Blue Eco on the scooter, and you keep holding X, you'll have it forever. Yeah. And you just miss the second build, that's unfortunate. You lose 10 yeah. seconds. Yeah, you that's lose fun. a lot of time if you don't get both the Ecos, yeah. but we got one of them. At least, at least right. something, yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, so you can hold X square to slow down. You can, like, hold square and X, and you just, um, you slow down, but you keep, um, you keep, keep the blue, blue eco with the speed, speed. so it's, uh... As soon as you let go of X, you lose the blue eco, which yeah. equals a lot of... So X is anyway, uh... Press the whole time, but uh, square. You just press square, a square when you need to slow down, and you don't need to pick up this yellow eagle actually. Oh, yeah, normally, yeah, I just... and the last one too. It's bad this time. Alright, that was Lava Tube, and on any percent you actually skip that part, it's a lot of crazy stuff. Yes. And there we, and there we did um, the cutscene skip again. That's a Kira, yeah, again a Kira cutscene where she's crying about her dad, 
same as that the sages has been catched have been catched. So she's yeah, yeah. asking for help to uh, complete the citadel normally. You just do one uh, cutscene skip, the Kira cutscene, then you skip another one, the same as cutscene. And then... Yeah, so you do a pass buffer afraid. and you roll jump out yeah. and kill yourself. That gets you a cutscene skip, and then you grab, you pass buffer, grab the and power you do another one game. To, um, to skip the Brawl and Maya cutscene, which is about two minutes too. And now it's time for the final boss. And if you get it correctly, it's gonna be a 114. I think. Yeah. Alright, yeah, so a strawberry. Uh, you end the timer when you s there's some white shit that pops on the ground. Yeah. Uh, when you see that white shit and I touch it, you just end the timer. Okay, that sounds interesting. We'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> You can hear double jump normally if you to uh, skip the row cutscene. But he's um what? I can skip my cutscene. The roar when he's roaring. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately. You I can save some friends <laughs> here. When you just not needed, but Yeah, you can do a weird stuff here. Um you can like get infinite uh, green eco. That's yeah. uh, really funny. When he touches that white shit, alright. Yeah. There's white eco, which is popping up. Um, which is basically the Very last, uh, to have, uh... last wave enough draft to destroy the robot completely. To save the world. It gives, it, it gives so very like, important yeah. to have a full health during this two last phases on this fight. So you can take damage on purpose and kill mm -hmm. him faster. You need to take damage two times here. Or like one time, normally. Um, and an another one. Okay. Um, like one time here and another time there. Which is coming out. I actually missed one shot, which sucks. I almost died. Yeah, <laughs> and it. here you can get right. the quick shot, uh, possibly. Alright, Straw, so get ready for the white stuff on the ground here. I'm ready. So normally you can skip. Um, no, there's an, sometimes a quick shot. The boss is. Uh, Boss is doing a quick shot, which saves about 4 seconds, which is really random. Um, yeah, from Dexter, when Dexter start, uh, starts to call, it's gonna be 30 seconds. So yeah, when Jack is touching the white eco uh, strawberry, you just instantly uh, spit. All right, we got the sub 14 by two seconds. All right. All right, yeah. I'm counting a 113.59. Nice. All right. GG. Hitly. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That was Jack and Daxter, 80% no LTS. That was the last run. That was Trashathon 2017. Diku, Cloggy, thank you so much for joining us for our final run, and thank you so much for being flexible with the early schedule. Can I get some GG flags in chat? Thank you to you. To y'all. Yeah, that was a good run, dude, though. You got the tricks, actually done and you got like important four tricks, days. so it's fine. Don't worry about it, man. Yeah, I didn't even practice. That's uh, that's a good one. That's fine. All right. Well, thank you so much. I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping up the stream. You guys have a good evening. All right. All right. You too, man. You too. And the chat too. See ya. 
Yes, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah. Alright, thanks for uh, <laughs> uh, commentating. Oh, yeah, no right. So, like, I tried my, my best. I tried my best. It's over. We made it. Then you. A 33-hour and 37-minute stream.